Look at what I scored at the Atlanta Blade Show 2022, my friends. I'm back. I'm back. I'm alive. Barely. Let me have a drink of coffee. Oh, my God. <laughs> mm. I had a drink of something else when I was there. I can't believe Bama Knife Guy took my picture when I was celebrating Law Enforcement Day with them at the pit. Well, they did escort me to my Uber. It was very nice of them to do so. And what they did, I think he saw a picture of me, Super Steel Steve, Neves Knives, and blah, 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 and Shane Gables and a bunch of other people there. And uh, so it was the brain trust of the drinking club. Oh, my God. I mean, I, I felt... Not so good the next morning. It was really strange. Oh, oh, it was tough. It was tough. Okay, so I'm home. Thank God my wife didn't see that picture. No, nah, that's not really me. I'm only a 28 waistline, as you can see in the pictures I posted at Blade. So, my friends, and I've got more hair. Got more hair. Got this Reich Booth Reich. You know what? It's only right to get right. And this is the Cybertrix. Cybertrix. It's from Funky Town, isn't it? This was um, actually designed originally by Elon Musk. <laughs> Who was that? Some Chinese guy on there like Elon Musk, new knife, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Put his face on it. I don't think so, but whatever. Um... So this is so strange because, you know, uh, it's like got Bamazow and all this kind of crazy stuff on it. In other words, you know, Reich's got their name on this and they probably were the ones that manufactured this knife because there ain't many people that can manufacture something like this, ceramic bearings. But it's, this was Steel Reviews. Have you ever gone to Steel Reviews, blogspot.com? Look at that. Look them up. This is really helpful if you like to go to crazy places like AliExpress and stuff. Every month or whatever, they put out a new list on their blog site. And there's knife after knife after knife after knife. And watches and flashlights or whatever, you know, products. And then they give you the links. You can buy it here or here or here or here. And so, you, you know, you can get links to where you can buy these. Now, this, obviously didn't come in a Reich pouch like mine did here and a Reich box that says Trixie baby cyber tricks and mine's the alpha okay there's an A and a B did you notice look at the primary grind here goes to there here goes out to here this is a different shape blade this is the B this is the A okay so they're nine inches overall length though. But this is a cool box. I saw that guy on that. The only video I could see that made any sense, it was in Chinese and he did a disassembly of this and I'm gonna do a disassembly of this. $387, so tricks are not for kids. You silly rabbi. Tricks are for adults. <laughs> These ones are, they're expensive. So, um. Check that out, right? Okay. Fruit flavored too, aren't they? And here's your stats, by the way. Bama Zhao. I, I've got a Bama Zhao knife with a design by uh, Yan Zendu. YX, you know, YX has done designs. They had the YX 650, 750, some other models too, but they also did designs for Tucson, blah, blah, blah. But Bama Zhao, so Bama Zhao's picking up stuff obviously that was designed by somebody and we'll see inside who it's saying and also uh uh obviously rebranding it probably using reich as the oem but reich's actually picked this up on their line so uh and uh the okay there's your liner blah 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 all that kind of stuff but ceramic bearings etc and watch those ceramic bearings they're free floaters Oh, yeah, yeah, there's there's steel in there. Okay, so real deal, Holyfield. What do you think about this knife? You got 3.7 or 3.6 millimeter up here, okay? 3.6 millimeter. 
uh, if you get way up here. <laughs> nah, now it ain't doing. Okay, three point, yeah, almost 3.7, 3.6, and then way down here, it's shrinky dinks. But um, of course, you got that, this grind going on, but, you know, 1.7 at whatever, 0.07. Keep going, 0.06 at 1.6 millimeters. So, yeah, this fat, thin, centered, solid. Crazy? Yes. Lock up? Good. 20%. Interesting. Look at that. I mean, very angular, very clean. Look at pocket clip. Look at that depth on there. That's kind of nice. It's decent. Probably not, probably, you know what, uh, God, I don't think I've carried it yet, actually, in my, in my pocket of pocket of pocket. I've been walking around showing it off, but I've been keeping it in the zipper pouch. Trying to keep from snail trails, you know that's coming, baby, you know it's coming. And that will be a crying game for me, you know, when it does happen. Let's get the grubby paw stuff off of here momentarily oh you know what do you think well who cares right but will it really be a knife yeah it uh, actually you could do that now about the secondary run okay as well okay bingo yeah it's sharp and i would uh urge you to keep your fingers out of the way when you swing it around because ain't no flipper tab gonna hit you on the thumb it's going to be the execution chamber going to hit you on the thumb. And then your thumb will be, part of your thumb will be on the table. So, yeah, I'm going to be really careful. But it's got a hell of a drop, my friends. Hell of a drop. Check it out. 4.6 ounces, so about 130 grams. So, not bad. It's all kinds of crazy. I love it. Ergos are easy. You know, all spread out, this and that. Uh, what do you think about the design on this? It's, you know, it doesn't exactly melt into the bolster and the tail here. Let me see, blade to handle length. Well, it's kind of like a be all you can be, right? It's okay. But back in here, okay, it's different. Ambidextrous thumb studs look to be titanium to me. And, uh, I don't know. I just, I just, when I saw it posted on Instagram before I went to Blade, I go, wow, if I can get that. And I did. I mean, I DM'd him through my Instagram account saying, I'm coming to Blade and there better be one for sale to me or else I'll take pictures of you. I'll release the pictures I have with you with those girls on your lap and your wife won't like it. So I blackmailed him and uh, he held one for me. So uh, <laughs> that's not a true story, by the way. Okay, but, you know, I whatever, blackmail, you know how we do. We're, we're knife addicts. We will threaten. We will cry. We will beg. Uh, and this is really way cool. And of course... The second thing I scored there, which everybody's going, how the hell? Um, yeah, is this one too. And yes, I threatened and begged and cried and threw a fit like a two-year-old. So I got this one as well. And this baby's nine inches long. You know, four-inch blade up to here at least. You know what I'm saying? So that's the lamella. And do I know how to take this one apart? Hell no, but I'll learn. So when I do the video on this, you'll find out, my friends. You'll find out. Let's take a little plastic piece and push down. Okay, I just push down here. See, it came past that. Now it's popped up. There it is. There's the backspacer. There's this piece. Okay. This ought to be a fun uh, video to do. <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay, so. Oh, 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 oh. Hold on. Uh, maybe I gotta do it like this. I do, probably. 
need to do it like this. Okay, so then we have the internals here. Um, what's this all about, folks? That's interesting. So these have got to come out. Uh, let's see if we can flip this around. And this is the other side. See that? Okay. Forever Steel, designed by De Declinix. Declinix. I don't know. Whatever. So, not sure which should come first, actually. And I wonder if these are number eights. And yeah, they are. So let's see if, and you know what? Let's do something first. Let's put some kind of a cloth down that keep things from bouncing around if they hit this tabletop board. Okay. Okay, so now we got one screw out. Got another coming. Okay, just like that. Okay. And we got one more back in there. I can't really get to. Hold on, let me flip this around like this then. Let me get these. On the other side, huh? Oop, oop, oop. Okay, come on. Behave yourself, damn it. Okay. And, and, what else? These are all, they look the same length, and which is smart, and I'm, I would figure they would be all the same length. See what I'm doing? Getting these out of here. Okay, so there's the three on that side as well. And now i got to figure out how this is all going to come out. Ah, so on top of this, this is, one, it says 193. Hmm, okay. So here's the scale, and this covers this part. You know what? And I was wondering if that wasn't a little... Nah. It seemed a little loose to me, but let me, okay. So here's kind of what this looks like. And you know what? I've got, first of all, I need to take this out if I can. Okay. Uh, and that's not the screw on that side, but okay. Uh, I guess we, okay, okay. So we now we unscrewed the screw over here, under here, and so that means we can take this off. Okay. I mean, I may be doing this bass backwards, but, you know, give me credit for trying. Ooh, you know what? And those, wow, where did I just lose that? Ooh, it's in there. It's in there. Um... Ooh, I need some really small needle nose. Because i got to get that. See, these are free floaters here. Look at that. See the ball sitting right there? These will come right out. Yikes. Okay, hold on. Okay, let's be very careful. I can always recoup those and put them back in, but... And there, of course, is a damn screw on the one side. Okay, 193. So there's what you got. And, of course, there's the screw that goes into the pocket clip. So, and, you know, time to, uh, you know, get all this extra juice out of it. Cleaned up a little bit. But there's what she looks like. Okay, so we got that out. But we got this little ball hanging here and nothing on the other side. Okay, come on. Get back to home. Here you go. 
I think I got a little package around here, but I haven't unpacked it yet with extra uh, with extra ball. So I just touch it and put it right down there. Okay, now we got that. The problem is uh, here's our blade on here and we take that off and there we go these are not captured either and I'm looking around the camera and I'm not showing you so sorry about that okay now okay so here's the pivot and I don't know if I'm but what I'm seeing some form of stuff around that pivot i'm going to clean that up a little bit as well okay so here's our presentation side right presentation side obviously presentation liner area okay this is where that backbone or that Thing clips into you know here and then continues on to go not only there but over here and snap down over here you see what I'm saying and then of course the liners on the other side that is involved with that as well but this is all presentation side this is lock bar side so here that is with the bearings laying in there, ceramic detent ball, all this kind of gobbledygook. And of course, this is the lock bar side, outer side here. And then of course, the knife with the bearings rolling around on there. And uh, So we can maybe transfer the bearings in this case and clean this area out a little bit. So this is interesting because you can build it back like this, of course. You don't come through the front because the front doesn't have, you don't push the pivot through the front push it through the back and come on baby okay there we go I just didn't want to disrupt any of those free-floating ceramic uh, bearings uh, but uh, I'm gonna put a little bit of lighter lube in there and put this down okay and then I'm gonna put these bearings on here as well and let's just put them like that and put them right here hopefully without disrupting anything okay so we're good there so that's how this mess all works. Like this. Basically. And then this can slide here just for demonstration purposes. You have these pieces. This slides into place down here. And then, of course, it goes over this piece here, this piece here on that side. And then you see how it slides over this end with compression and pops into place. Okay? Like that. Now, 
you have that together. Of course, now you got to take this backspacer back off and whatever so we can screw the liners into the front and the rear. But I think that gives you an idea how that works. And it, see, it just pulls up. So take a plastic piece of something, I would think, to pop this backspacer off and start your disassembly that way. But this should be... Yeah, it looks centered. Okay. So let's uh, <laughs> let's think about putting this back together now. Um, and I think it was... We were doing this, weren't we? Were we not? Were we or were we not? Okay. Doing this. Okay, we were separating these little things. Come on. Okay. Let's throw screws in here. Got the lock bar out of the way. Okay. How ingenious, my friends. Then this side. And, okay. We can do that. One. <laughs> Pop it out. Hey, no escapees around here. Okay, come here. Let's just get you logged down here. Okay, you and you and I am doing this the right way. Okay. And you Okay. Okay, hold on. Let's get these put together. Is that centered? Yeah, it looks centered. Okay. Now, put this down. And then we're going to snap this back in the way we did before we had the scales on here. We should be good. Are we still centered? Yes. Are we a knife? Yes. Is it solid? Yes. It's the tricks. Tricks. And uh, at almost $400. Uh, tricks are not for kids. Tricks are not for kids. The cyber tricks. What do you think about this? Is this like, well, it's a trick, isn't it? Oh, is it called cyber tricks? Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty trick. I mean, it really uh, reminds me of the snakes, you know, uh, of that those designs because they're like, you know, you can pop them apart with no. And there was one from Tucson that you could take apart and put back together with no, with no tools. But this takes tools to take it apart and put it back together. It's just, uh, you know, no tools here to pop the backbone off and then rotate everything out. Then you got to, you know, take it apart with a number eight. But uh, no number sixes in here. How cool is that and one last thing of course it only weighs 1.2 ounces oh 4.6 busted i'm lying and 130 grams yeah so okay but that's not bad it's not bad you know she's a good sized little dog all right cyber tricks uh 
way cool, you know? Pocket clip, everything, backspacer, everything integrated. It's solid. It's interesting. It's way cool. Um, I just wanted to put it out there. It's, uh, you know, who knows how many will be made and how long they're going to be available. That's always something a little tricky with Rike. So you might, if you want to do it, you ought to do it. Um, or you can get the B model which has got a different, you know, length of primary, secondary grind. I'll leave you to it. Thank you so much. You know what we do. We love them knives. So stay sharp.